What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Bone Disaster. We're back on some Heroes of the Storm today, doing some quick match. Uh, as always, we're joined by Purple Dragon. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're going to be doing some carry again today. Um, I'm still playing around with formats and stuff. I'm going to go with this format for now. This is the way that I like it so far, so this is what we're going to do just for right now. Um, so we're going to go over our abilities real quick, and then we'll get in the games to talk about talents and stuff. Um, her Q is a Ravenge. You leap to a target dealing 228 damage. If the enemy dies within 1.5 seconds, its cooldown is instantly reset. Uh, her W is the Impelling Blades. Uh, after 1.25 seconds, deal 251 damage to enemies within the target area, stunning them for one second. Or one second, my bad. And then Primal Grass is on her E. That pulls enemies towards you within the target area, dealing 110 damage. The W and the E is the big Kerrigan combo. Um, her trait is gain 10% of damage dealt from basic attacks and abilities as shields for 6 seconds. Shield amount gain doubled against heroes. Maelstrom is her one of her ultimates, uh, one of her two heroics. Deals 82 damage per second to nearby enemies, lasts for 7 seconds. It's got a pretty nice area around it. And then Summon Ultralisk is her other one. Summon an Ultralisk that attacks the target, dealing 100 damage. Attack splash to nearby enemies for 50% damage. Can reactivate the ability to retarget the Ultralisk last 20 seconds. That's more for like if you need somebody to share the front line. We're not more than likely going to be doing it today. So we'll just go ahead and jump on into it and get started. All right, we find ourselves on the Towers of Doom. Oh yeah. Today, the teams are going to be Zul's on our team. We got Zul, Greymane, Kelthos, Kerrigan, Dahaka. They got Jaina, Zul, Dahaka, Kelthos, and Illidan. So it's basically the same team, but trade me for Illidan. And what? Who else okay. is it? Oh, Greymane for uh, Jaina. All right, what do we got again? I wasn't listening. Oh, cool, so little worry. Good. It's always good. Issue regeneration, yep, that's what we want. I'm not even gonna use my mount to get into the damn thing, because there's no reason to. Okay, so at level one, we're gonna go soften an impact. It's gonna make our Ravage heal for 10% of the damage done if it hits a target. I got a lot of shit going on down here, huh? Uh, we're just gonna now see with our traits. The good thing about Kerrigan is with your traits, you're just gonna see that shield I've got on me. It's almost 300 extra health for me right now. Oh, they need to be careful. I can come in and maybe get a. Oh, they're gonna have to come respond to me because I'm shoving the crap out of their, their stuff. Uh, excuse me. Alright. As soon as my, <clears throat> my brush stalker is available. Fuck you, dick. Alright, this bone prison is going to be a problem. Nope, we can't make it out. Fuck it. Hazel will come up and deal with you. Yeah. Yeah, they can't. Bone prison. Couldn't get out of it. I'm really susceptible to being ganked right now. But I feel like that's kind of the nuances to, to Dahaka. Try to make them want to do stuff like that, and then when they do it, they fail, and then you laugh. Pull him back into our combo. He's got his shield up, though, so he's going to get out no problem. Go ahead and do that. I go soak mid a little bit more, try to get us level 4. I say let them do what they want to do up there. Because they're not down here dealing with the shrines or anything. Just going to combo her, keep her still, deal some damage. He's going to pull me off, but that's fine. We did what we wanted to do. Just watch for this KT here. And combo her and then get the hell out. Largo. That's all you do her. Okay, we're going to clean kill here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we kind of died there. That was kind of a body block situation. I thought my W was up, honestly. Thought I had a stun. 
But uh, we're going to go clean kill. It, if Ravage Jane uh, kills the target, it restores 100% of its mana cost. It increases the damage of your next Ravage by 20%. And mind you that whenever you kill something, so it's going to restore the mana, plus it's going to refresh the cooldown. And it's going to be 20% stronger. Oh, we did have an even trade there, right? Yep. Uh. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to come up to you. Hi, Zor. I wanted to waste a stun on you. Combo him. Get some damage off. I hate the fucking okay. ability, dude. I really do. Fucking drag is a this. drag. The drag is a drag. Try to help our gray main if we can. No, nah, he's not gonna get out of there. Uh, I could use help mid. There's two of them here still. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, Zul was just kind of ignoring this hill and wasting time. He tried to take a camp, I think, but it didn't work by himself. Yeah, I, can, I, need, I need assistance. Nope. Can't even go on that fucking far. <laughs> Alright. So here's where it varies. You can go Assimilation Mastery or Battle Momentum. We're going to go Assimilation Mastery on this one just because we don't have that support. So having that extra sustain is going to be very good. But we're only regenerating whenever we're shielded. Keep that in mind. Ow, KT. Oh, hey, I'm I am way too low to go in. I'm way too low. Um, they're just gonna let Illidan channel that. He's, he literally is chasing, <laughs> chasing Jaina instead of stopping the Illidan from getting it. We tried it again. He's Q. <laughs> Trades are no big deal. Alright. Okay, we're just gonna get in here. Now, since we got the slow minion here, we're just gonna jump to him, refresh the cooldown, refund the mana. Oh, I meant to jump to him. Dole can make something happen. We might have a dead Kel'Thas yeah. in our hands. I keep forgetting Illidan's gonna be brave and just trade into. We're just gonna boost our Ravage up. Oh, and then get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm ganked again. He's not. Damn. He's not going to do anything. <laughs> Who's KT talking to? I don't know. You. Yeah, because, you know, it's three of them. What is wrong with me? that ability I really do got the shittiest fucking range <laughs> okay they're gonna have ultimates very soon too so keep that in mind them we should too as long as we're soaking all lanes yeah I'm trying to make sure that we're soaking Give me pill for you there, buddy. I did. All right, we're just gonna grab sippy cup. Right, we need help, bot. No time like yeah, I'm on my way. Zul came all the way up top for some fucking reason. Just fucking dead. He's just gonna channel it. Oh no! What stopped him? I have no idea. He just trying to get to him. Dude, he needs to back, or he's gonna just die. Oh, she didn't run from the combo. <laughs> yeah, she knew she was dead. If she had ran, she would have got comboed. She stayed. She got an auto attack and died.
Fucking Daka, man. He can be everywhere. Yeah. I don't think he's the best solo warrior at all. That's okay adaptation. Let's see how that goes. It's it's going. Uh, Grandma needs to be careful. He cannot solo camps. Not at this level. Can't really solo camps very well at all, but definitely not at this level. Everyone does need to be careful. They are all missing. Okay, never mind. They're showing. Yeah, themselves. there was a couple of them over here. Our Zul decided to go in deep. Get out of there, brother. You are not prepared. Who's he hunting? He hunted Kalthos and he's probably gonna kill him. I'm probably dead. Yep. Shit. I killed Illid in there. I and Jaina. Sippy, but I was on the wrong side of the fort for it. Killed Illidan and Jaina. I don't go this rate. I don't see how the extra. I mean, I guess I can see how the extra range on your Ravage would be good, especially since we're taking a bunch of other upgrades for it. I just don't think it's needed. Instead, we go Kring's Rush, which gives us that extra move speed, helps us get around, get two people. since that was an amazing engage. Someone is getting the thing, right? I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to come help you guys. Okay, Kel'Thas is, okay. Uh, I could possibly grab Bill in here. Nah, I'll take Kel'Thas instead. Okay, and then we'll just too. pop our move speed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he got gotten over really. Oh no, didn't see Zul there. Don't worry about Illidan. I don't want both of them. We'll go grab Sippy, get our HP back, come back in. They just call me Best of Hockey NA, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that combo though. That's just what you want to do. You just want to watch. Bit. Just want to watch for opportunities to be able to do shit like that. Be careful though, uh, what's his name is still alive, Daka. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and heal up dude to the next one. Yeah. We don't have tunnels right. yet, we'll have ten tunnels in like a minute, minute and a half. Drag range, bro, heals you. Alright, so, and since, again, we don't have the support and we really need to stay alive, Kerrigan does a lot of good damage just on our own. Like, just with our base kit. So we're gonna go aggressive defense just to get us some extra shields and keep us alive. I would like to point out though that aggressive defense and shit, it goes really well with Fury of the Swarm. It's just Ravage is really strong too, if you use it right. I haven't exactly been jumping to minions because we've been needing to get around to our team. Because, you know, here's the deathmatch and shit. Combo her into it, and there you go. My dock is dead. Yeah, he wasn't getting out of that. <laughs> I'm on my way. Real quick. The old tank dock is actually doing better than I thought it would. I don't think it's conventional. I don't think it's good, but I think it works. Yeah, it has to. Yeah, I like Kiltos channel that. We can start pushing oh, the fucking Jaina, baby. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't throw a W first. Oh, Single she dodged the drag. That was good. We should be able to push the fuck out of this mid lane, though. I'm not afraid. Yeah, Jaina, that was fucking OP, girl. You did all the things, didn't you? To all who serve the grave now we just take mid. And I honestly feel like we're just doing pretty well together too. Like Daka and Kerrigan. 
<laughs> Bye, Ellen. And we go back bot. Sure. Unless this Kel'Thas wants to overextend. Seems like he wants to. Okay, I gotta get out. <laughs> I'm dead. I got dragged into the kill zone. Kill oh, box. Yeah. All good though, we got two things for it. Yep, that'll be two altars. Easy. Easy two alters. Yeah, James is just gonna worry about getting that instead of coming in the contest. Oh, I'm down for 30 fucking anything. seconds. I'm getting ready, I'm like getting ready to go and everything. I'm down for 30 seconds. <laughs> Good game so far. Our team's playing really well. I say push bot lane. I say just push that. They're right there, more than likely, though. They did just see their team bot, and the only person that is showing is Keltos. I'm on my way down there. Ah, oh, she was just out of range of it, damn it. Oh, I'm pop our one to help get out. Uh, it's all of a sudden a bad engage for us. Yeah, I'm really do. Chain of hurts, man. Trying to block. I'm trying to block for the drag. Oh no, Illidan. It's okay. Man, they want me so place. bad. Man, I want to help you guys, but oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I should have just packed. <laughs> I should have totally just fucking got out of there. I had all the adaptation healing. Should have been watching for KT. Problem. I survived all of that. Yeah. Okay, so they got our good. bottom. That's okay. Yeah, we'll just make sure we get one of them. Like that one. That's gonna be the easiest one for us to get. <laughs> that awkward moment. Okay, T buddy. Oh man, yeah. They went for the bot one. Jesus, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be 15 damage. Health loss overextended like really bad. Like really, really bad. Alright, they're level 20. We're gonna take a mega storm, which makes our ultimate where it just gives us more shields on top of more shields. Go for that. <clears throat> and the size has increased a good little portion too. Uh, that's happening. I wonder if they're bossing. They probably are. I'd say they are. They're doing it without Dahaka though. I just did ill it in the yeah. game. They got it, no problem. Just don't go into it. Nah. We're down. We're just gonna build our ravage up. I can get a camp though if you want. I'll come to this one if y'all want to decide y'all want to do this one because it's a little dangerous. We can we can swap one for top. one if they want. Yeah, we can swap one for one if they want though. Because they were gonna get that regardless, so we could, wouldn't be able to answer to that. Oh so. yeah, no, we wouldn't be able to get that. Yeah, so let's leaks make sure we get this as well. Oh yeah, with those things we should easily get it. Where are you going, buddy? Uh. Oh man, isolation. Shit. Yeah, they came in from right above us. That sucks. Oh, we weren't together for that either. We were nowhere near together. I thought there was four of us there. Ukes, though. Yo, <laughs> boss. Come on, buddy. Uh. Uh, if he had waited until K KT did it, it would have worked fine for him. Do not let the grave keepers 
That was still a bad target, though. You should hit Jaina with that damn thing. KT with that thing. Melt him. I wouldn't be surprised they're already there. Nope, they just got there. Yeah, you guys are fine. Do it back, do it back. Give him a little bit of tongue action back. I don't have it right now. Oh, uh, you can't even get through the reach around. Nah, he went for the speed too, so I can't even catch up to him. Yeah. Oh, they're not out of it yet, yo. Uh, I'm gonna go top. Try to get that pushing. We almost got this one back. Oh, Actually, yeah, okay. if we would have gotten that while we did that, like right before we capped it, we could have won the game right there. Yeah, sure could have. As long as we make sure we get our W out and generate some shields, we're fine. We can take a shot or two of that, no problem. I'll say it's another instance where we were going to lose that regardless, so it wasn't really worth our time to go down there. Uh, group those mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Just listen out for the uh, for the the growl of Dahaka. No, right. dude, let's push this. Push that, dude. Well, look at this minion wave. Oh, you're really deep. Yeah. I'm trying to keep them off of you guys. Yeah, we should be able to take that. Quick enough. Our Ravage is back up. We'll Ravage back in. Our W went up when we originally went in, so... Okay, then, whatever. If he just wants to do that, that's fine. We can do that. That's GG, no matter what. One Dahaka is not going to be able to defend us from two from yeah. two shrines. Good game, played well. They had actually had a pretty damn good comeback. It was very one-sided until that point. Yeah, really good comeback though. Uh, you can stay back and deal with that means Zul's on. Again, I'm not afraid of anything happening, but no oh, Dahaka, you don't even get that bitch. No, you don't even get that. I don't permit it. I don't permit it. That was the GG. <laughs> yep, that was a good game. It helps that I'm the best to Haka NA anyway, so. <laughs> I'm glad that went that well on uh, Towers of Doom like that. That's that's some kind of a, sometimes a shady map. If your team doesn't know what they're doing on Towers of Doom, man, Towers of Doom's terrible. They still really didn't, though, because they kept team fighting and chasing opposed to yeah. going back for the altars. Which, I mean, it worked in our favor, but, I mean, my damage was pretty so, high, I mean, too. We, didn't, I didn't expect we didn't top damage, but, I mean, we stayed competitive with everybody on damage with kills. You know, we were involved with a lot of the kills that went on with the team and stuff. Which is what a good Eric should do, you know? Didn't have the most deaths, either, so that's that's something to talk about, playing yeah. Kerrigan. yeah. Gray main, yeah, oh. we ain't got a healer. Poor Gray main. Gray main's yeah, like, what the fuck you want me to do about it? Okay, so real quick, uh, the build real quick. It's a uh, level one. You go soften and impact. Ravage heals you for ten percent of your maximum health if it hits an enemy. Clean kill at level four. If ravager, if ravage kills the target, it restores a hundred percent of its mana cost. It increases the damage of your next ravage by twenty percent. That's the main part of the combo that we want to get started with that isn't involved with our WE combo. You know what I'm saying? So it gives us two ways that we can get some extra damage out. Uh, you could see it a lot when I went in on that Illidan. That me and that Illidan did it a lot. I'd jump to minions, get it powered up, and then jump on him to hurt him more. I'm at level 7, Assimilation Mastery. This is mainly because we didn't have a, a support with us. It's uh, while the Assimilation Shields are active, your health and mana are reduced, our regeneration is increased by 100%. At level 10, we went Maelstrom. It deals 82 damage per second to nearby enemies. Lasts for 7 seconds. That's that AoE, and it's really good for generating shields and stuff, too, man. It really helps keep you alive. Um, at level 13, I like Queen's Rush. It's it, it's like a sprint, but it's a Kerrigan-specific sprint. It activates whenever you take a, a whenever you get a kill or... Yeah, kill or assist. It's a takedown, so that counts for a kill or an assist. You get, like, a 25% bonus movement speed for 4 seconds, and you can hit one and activate it, too. Um, aggressive defense at level 16 increases base shields amount gained from assimilation by 100%. 
And then at level 20, we picked up the Omega Storm. The Maelstrom size increased by 25%. Amount of assimilation shields generated by Maelstrom increased by 100%. So basically, our shield just gets even better at generating shields. And uh, I really noticed it quite a bit. I mean, I, I hope when uh, Perp will go back and watch this eventually and stuff, I hope that he notices it too. But they, we were actually doing really well together. Dahaka and Kerrigan, we were two really opposite sides of the of the you know, the zone for them to look at, like, they had me coming in at the front of them, and then suddenly you were up beside of them trying to pull them and oscillating them and just all doing all your nasty crap. So, I mean, it just, it worked really well together, man. The shields helped kept me alive. I don't, it was a GG. I had fun. It was a really fun game. It was a good game. Definitely. All right. So, as always, guys, we appreciate you guys coming by and stopping uh, and checking our shit out. Uh, if you liked it, hit uh, that like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And we hope to see you again. Anything else, buddy? Oh. All right, bye guys.